Hi friends, it's Tasha with Start a School Crochet. Hey everybody, so in my last video I showed you guys how to crochet this really cute hexagon pattern. And it's filled with hearts and I love it and it's so cute. So what we're going to do today is we're going to put together the bag. I love this bag. I think that it's just so gorgeous. Like, you know those times when you just create something and you're just like, oh my god, I made that. That's kind of how I feel about this. Mm -hmm mostly because I love Valentine's Day and I love hearts and I just really loved the way this turned out. And so I went on to Amazon and I got um, some of these bamboo handles. You don't have to use these handles if you don't want to, but they're really great. I'll show you how to put these together today. Okay, so to start, we're gonna need some stitch markers. We're gonna need our crochet hook. We're also gonna need our handles and we're going to need a pair of scissors and if you want a measuring tape so that you know exactly how big your bag is let's go ahead and dive in and measure this one so this bag measures about 14 inches well about 14 and a half i guess 14 and a half inches wide and from the middle peak down it's measuring about 11 inches and then from the top peak down it's measuring about 13 inches so it's it's a pretty decent sized bag which is so so cool i did my hair for today's video what do you think <laughs> so i looked in the mirror when i was about to do this video today and i was like oh yeah okay i probably need to fix all that because i look like a okay so grab your handles what we're going to do is this is how you assemble them they have these little screws here and this little piece kind of comes out one end is a screw and the other end is not a screw so you're just going to put it through to where the edge is just like that where it's just sticking out then you're going to put it through the hole of the bamboo handle and then you're gonna put it there and kind of screw it in. And on this side, you can see there's like a little tiny space. There's like a little tiny space for a screwdriver, but I'm using my scissors because I don't have one of those little tiny screwdrivers. So you just kind of try to make sure that it's in the hole and then just screw it in as best possible. All right, I'm about to lose my mind. That took way too long. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if this is going to cause a problem or not because you might need to really tighten them up so that this little part does not come off and your bag fall apart and then you lose the little silver or the little middle piece and then you're freaking out right that would freak me out and i'd be pretty mad so first if you're new to my channel welcome hi i'm tasha i'm a crochet designer and i like to do fun crochet patterns and fun tutorials my favorite colors are pink and blue, as you can tell. I love teal, pinks, blues, browns, and my boyfriend makes fun of me because I always put pink and brown together, but I really like pink and brown together, and I don't care what anybody else thinks. <laughs> and if you're not new here, welcome back, friends. It's good to see you again. So let's get to this and start crocheting our little thingies. I'm going to use my stitch markers to connect the hexagons so that I don't lose my place anywhere. But if you want to make a liner, which is what I'm going to do, then you want to cut the shape of your liner to the shape of the bag when it's actually finished. That's the easiest thing to do. So once it's all folded up like this, you kind of want to draw it out on a piece of paper and then cut your shape out like this 
and then sew the edges together and put the liner in there. That would be the easiest thing to do and that's probably what I'm gonna do. But I'm not gonna do that in this video. I'm gonna show you how to actually just assemble the hexagons in this video. So it won't be too complicated. Maybe I'll do a part three for the video of adding the liner to it. So let's get started and actually attach these. Now I'm going to flip it over and do the other side. So this gives us a better idea of how we can actually weave these together because there's so many ways. So I'm just going to leave these parts kind of loose and you can see when you pick it up, this is what your bag is going to look like. It's so cute. I love it. Love, love, love it. It's so adorable. Ah, I can't wait. So grab your white yarn, or if you want, you can use a pink yarn to make it a little more spicy. It's up to you. I'm going to go with white because I just really love the design aspect of this with the popping of the flowers because the flowers just really pop and I love it. So I'm just going to grab my white yarn. We're going to do a join that I learned from Bella Coco Crochet. I love Bella Coco. She's really great. I love her voice. I don't have a voice like that. We can't all be Bella Coco. <laughs> I'm not Bella Coco. I'm Tasha. This is a geometry thing. So thankfully I'm good with puzzles. We're going to start right here. We're going to insert our hook like this. We're going to add our yarn and pull through and then chain one just to secure it. So once you insert there and chain one, make sure you pull these tight. Then we're going to go from the back side into the corner, pull up and do a single crochet. Then we're going to loosen our hoop a little bit. We're going to take our hook out. We're going to go into the next stitch like that put your loop back on your hook pull through then go back over to the other side in the next stitch which is right here pull up and do a single crochet and you're going to repeat that across putting it in there put your loop back on pull through go back over to your next one and do a single crochet Then, of course, you can take these off as you go because you don't need them. Just put them in the side there. Put your loop back on your hook. Go back to the next stitch. Pull up. It takes a little getting used to, but once you get used to this join, it, it goes pretty fast. And it also creates a really beautiful pattern on the front of your work, which looks really nice. Very secure for a bag, that's for darn sure. So this is what the join looks like. It's so pretty. Isn't it beautiful? And the back side looks like that. So I'm going to keep going to the corner and then I'll show you what the corner looks like. So here I'm at the last stitch of my section. Finish my single crochet on that side. And then for this side, I'm going to go into the chain two space, pull up, then I'm going to go back over here into that chain two space, pull up and do a single crochet. Okay, so we're going to keep going down. So I'm going to kind of turn it a little bit. And we just finished doing one in, in the corner there. So we're going to go straight over to this corner here, insert our hook and do a single crochet 
then we're going to pull it out and we're going to start working down this way so we're going to go into that first stitch and just keep working down this way Now we're at the other corner here again, so we're going to insert our hook, put it there, and slip stitch through, then go straight over to that corner and do a single crochet. So let's see where we are right now. So we just went down this way, we're coming around, I'm going to flip it, and we're going to work our way back this way, then we're going to work across and back down around. We'll worry about this at the very end. So now we're going to go into this stitch here and then start working our way and close up this gap right here. Okay, so now we did all of that and now we're going to work our way this way and down around and we're just going to do another join here later on after we do all of these. So here, because we're kind of going across and doing this this way, so I'm going to undo this and I'm actually going to take these two here and put them together and then do our single crochet there to bring those two corners together. And then I'm gonna start jumping over and working straight into that first double crochet on that side. And then go back over here. Oops, I went through my stitch marker. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this stitch marker out. And just keep working along until you've got it completely joined. So you're going to keep working your join all the way down this way, then work it around this way, then work it this way and back down this way. Up to here, you'll meet again, go this way, work it down that way. Come back up and then work it to here, tie it off, and then we'll come back and we'll fill in the, the spaces, which will be right here, and there'll be a space on the other side, and then I'll show you guys how to do that and fill in those empty spaces. I hope this is not too confusing for you. You can join these however you want, but I'm just trying to avoid creating too many tails to weave in at the end. I want to show you how to do the very last part when we get to the top here, which it might seem already intuitive to you to just keep going and that's pretty much what you're going to do. So we're going to do our single crochet on this side. Then we still have our corner space here, so we're going to do slip stitch through that corner space. Then this is still open and it hasn't been stitched through yet. So we're going to do and finish out our single crochet on that side. Then you can go ahead and cut this yarn now. And you might want to do an invisible type join or an invisible type. So you would pull this through like that and then go back through 
this stitch here and then come over to this stitch over here and just kind of pull it through and that kind of leaves a little bit of a cleaner top edge but you know it doesn't really matter because we're going to do a border on this top side anyway <laughs> okay so now we've pretty much joined all of them we still have a few spaces that are needing joins in there but this is what we have so far so this was our front side which we did with the green stitch markers so this is what we have it looks great this is the front side this is the back side so you'll notice that on the front side we have two spaces that need to be filled in and then on the back side we have one two three spaces I'm going to pull these out first. Let's take the stitch markers out. We don't need those stitch markers. We don't need no stinking stick. We don't need no stinking stitch markers. I'm such a nerd. Okay, so now we're going to join this to this and this to this. I'm going to grab my yarn. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to find my corner space on, I'm going to kind of rotate it find my corner space on this side because you always want to start off on the right side when you're doing this kind of join and i'm just going to slip stitch through and chain one and then i'm going to go straight over to the left side and you can work your tail in if you want just to secure it and i'm going to do my single crochet on that side and then just start working just like we did before, down to join both sides. And I think I will crochet my tail in as we go. So now we're coming up to the very end and we have just one one stitch left on this side plus the corner space to join. So we're going to do our single crochet in that last stitch. And I'm going to actually put my hand inside the bag here to kind of see where I am right here. So we just did the single crochet on that side. Now I want to join through here, take that out, go through the corner piece and just do a slip stitch through there and that will be our final slip stitch through there we don't need to do anything else except for pull this out and then cut it and weave in the tails now we're going to do the same thing over here i'm going to go in through the right side and do a slip stitch and a chain one i'm not going to double up that chain one though then i'm going to go into this corner stitch and do my single crochet then I'm going to head back over and join onto that side. And I'm going to go ahead and weave in my tail as I'm working these stitches as well. All right, so we're going to finish doing this one, flip it on over, and then join these sides to. And after we're done with that, we're going to do a border here and attach the top. All right, so I finished this side and I can't believe I did this, but I accidentally got a stain on the front of it. Oh my God, I'm so bummed. I touched my face, which has makeup on it, and then I touched my bag. Big no-no, but it looks beautiful and I'm really excited. I really love the way it's joined and I'm gonna go ahead and steam it. And then now I'm gonna finish up these two sides Well, my iPad is messing up, so I was trying to record duels, but it's not working. This is what we have so far. We've finished our joining and it looks great. So now we're going to work a border. Okay, so we're going to do just a little bit of shaping for this part. We're going to start in the right hand corner up here. Insert your hook. Bring your yarn up and then I usually drop the tail because I end up weaving that in and do a 
chain and then do a single crochet. And then we're gonna work a single crochet into the next stitch and then the two after that. So you'll have a total of four single crochets, one in the corner and then one, two, three. Then we're gonna do half double crochets down until we reach the seam and then we're gonna work some shaping stitches that are gonna draw the bag in just a little bit so that when we add the handle, it'll look great. So I'm gonna do one, two, then I'm gonna work into that center, three, and then work into the chain space, four, and then work into the next one, five. Then we're gonna to have to chain one. Okay, so now we have there were two, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're gonna chain one. Now we're gonna do a single crochet in the next three. One, two, three. We're gonna do two in the corner. Then single crochet in one, two, three. Then we're gonna half double crochet and do the same when we reach the other part. Okay, so when we're reaching this corner, we have two stitches left. We're going to do our together stitches so pull up insert in the next one pull up so we've done that one two three four times on this side five six before we did it fewer times than this this one is eight chain one Okay, so you may notice the stitch counts are a little wonky. Don't worry, in the written pattern is going to match the video, however crazy and disorganized that may be. <laughs> okay, so I have two stitches. I'm coming up to that join. So I guess it's, um, let's see how many I'm gonna do for this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know why it's different each time. But it's not that big of a deal. Just make sure you gather it together and work the two stitches on either side of the joins plus the spaces. And I'll do a diagram so it'll make it easier. Now we're coming up to the corner again. So we've got three stitches left. We're gonna do one, two, three, and then work a single crochet and join. Let's see if that worked. It really did bring it in nicely. I really like the way it brought it in. So I'm gonna cut this pull it through and I'm going to fold my corners in. Just take it like this and just kind of tuck it in there and fold it over like that. And then I'm just going to put this in here as a test and I'm going to do the same on this corner and just fold it in. Probably fold it into right to where the top of the heart starts like that. 
Let's see if that brought it in enough so that when we actually gather it together and sew this on that it won't look too puckered in the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and try sewing these on and see how it actually looks. <laughs> okay, so I threaded this onto my needle and now I'm just gonna do one side at a time, but, but I'm just gonna go through here and just kind of, I think I'll do a whip stitch because whip stitches are very secure. So I'm just gonna kind of whip stitch through this part. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side and just kind of tuck it in there and then whip stitch. Just wanna kind of get through the tops of that. I think it works. It looks the same on both sides and it kind of draws through and leaves it strong and it doesn't pucker up. <gasps> yes, this makes me happy. It worked. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! So now I'm going to weave in around and around and around and around more so it's more secure and, and it kind of it kind of gives a little flex to these too. Ah, finished it! I finished it. I am so excited about this. And it's dark. As you can see, it's starting to get dark. But okay, so here is our very functional, very shaped purse. I was a little scared at first because I was like, how am I going to solve this problem? Like this handle was too narrow for how wide this was. So I think this was a great solution and it turned out wonderful. Let me kind of zoom out there. Yes, and bringing them together right there really made a huge difference. And it's beautiful, I love it. I might do some shaping here on the corners since I don't really like corners sticking out. A way to do that would be to just, you kind of just tuck these little corners in and then sew around them to reinforce it. And that would make it just a little bit more of a rounded bag for shaping purposes like that. And it would also do a little bit of reinforcement. Thank you guys so much for being here and I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. Please head over to the blog at stardustgoldcrochet.com for the full written pattern, all the diagrams, the PDF if you prefer a PDF written pattern, and also watch my next video. I have tons of free crochet tutorials. Happy crocheting everybody, bye.